There is another sign that Donald Trump could soon be indicted in connection with the attempt to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia, as Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis said that a decision on charges in her probe will be made soon. Speaking to local station WXIA, Willis confirmed that an announcement on whether the former president will face further criminal charges will be made no later than September 1. The expected decision comes as Trump, the frontrunner in the 2024 GOP presidential primary, is already facing a string of legal difficulties, including speculation he is due to be indicted again as part of special counsel Jack Smith's January 6 probe. Trump has already pleaded not guilty to falsifying business record allegations in New York, as well as dozens of federal charges under Smith's classified documents probe. The work is accomplished. Willis said. We've been working for two and a half years. We're ready to go. Trump has long denied all wrongdoing in connection with Willis's investigation and has frequently alleged it is a politically motivated witch hunt. Trump's office has been contacted for comment via email. It has long been strongly rumored that Willis's office could charge Trump and his allies as part of the election interference probe. Willis previously instructed most of her staff to begin working remotely from July 31 to August 18 and requested that judges not schedule trials or in-person hearings until mid-August. A strong indicator that charges could be announced around then. A grand jury that will vote on whether there is enough evidence to bring forward an indictment against Trump and others has been sitting at the Fulton County Courthouse in Atlanta since July 11. Last week, orange barricades went up outside the court as a security measure, with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office confirming that this was to deal with any reaction to the high-profile legal proceedings at the building. Some of the measures we are deploying, such as barriers that will limit parking near the courthouse, will be obvious to the public. For security reasons, other measures being deployed will not be as obvious. A Fulton County Sheriff's Office spokesperson told Newsweek. As always, our focus remains on protecting the residents of Atlanta and Fulton County and visitors to the metropolitan Atlanta area. Elsewhere in her interview with WXIA, Willis praised the local sheriff's office for providing additional security. Some people may not be happy with the decisions that I'm making. Willis said. And sometimes, when people are unhappy, they act in a way that could create harm. I think that the sheriff is doing something smart in making sure that the courthouse stays safe. Willis added, I'm not willing to put any of the employees or the constituents that come to the courthouse in harm's way. Willis's two-year investigation originally focused on Trump's January 2021 phone call with Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, in which the former president asked him to find the 11,870 votes needed to beat Joe Biden at the last election. The investigation later expanded to probe allegations of a multi-state coordinated plan between Trump and his allies to influence the results of the 2020 election across the country. In a post on Truth Social on Saturday, Trump described both Smith and Willis's probe as election interference aimed at preventing him from re-entering the White House. Why didn't the corrupt Marxist prosecutors bring these radical unjustified charges against me 2.5 years ago, long before my presidential campaign had begun, Trump wrote. Now deranged Jack Smith will probably bring another case. Along with the racist DA in crime-ridden Atlanta, who has been waiting for the perfect time during my campaign to file. This is election interference prosecutorial misconduct. They are all in a coordinated attack, trying to steal another election, but we won't let them.